Hey everybody, it's Bailey. It's Teach It Tuesday. Technically, it's not Tuesday anymore. It's Wednesday, so this is going to be called Work It Wednesday. Work It Work It Wednesday. <laughs> uh, sorry we didn't get the video posted yesterday, but we are going to get this thing done today. This video is going to be a little bit different than what we normally do. Um, and I'm actually holding the camera today, so I'm sorry if it's really wobbly. But what we're going to what I'm going to show you today is how I organize my patterns. So Let's go see the madness. All right, you see the baby pictures in the background. Just, just little baby right here. 24 weeks and he is growing like a weed. It's kind of, it's wild. Um, and pay no attention to my mess in my house. You guys get to see a whole nother side of um, recapture values. Okay, so first we'll start with this handy dandy Ikea. Um, Alex rolling shelves. It has wheels on the bottom. It has six shelves here. It's wide and um, I thought this would be perfect and these are just head wrap strips cut up here But I thought it would be perfect for patterns and it worked. It helped me keep a lot of my patterns um, From taking over my house. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to organize um, Anything that goes in this thing is going to be what I am currently using on our shop website or Etsy shop so if I'm not using it, it goes over in a tote, which I'll show you in a minute. But if I'm using it, it goes in here, and then I organize them. So the top, I have all of the head wrap pieces, like um, head pieces, like my turban templates, my bow templates, my... What else do I have? I think that's... Oh, and beanies. That goes in here, too. I also put socks in here because I don't have them regularly. I don't typically, you know do socks that often but I do have them in here and then also I put the newborn stuff in here like um stuff that I don't make a newborn size in it's just specifically for a newborn like the gowns and whatnot are in here so that's what they look like nothing too crazy this one looks a little crazy but that's my stuff all right then the second drawer is going to be my shirts and I try to organize them so like this would be simple crop tops, this would be the um, lounge crop tops, and these are sweaters. So that's what I'm currently doing right now. That's typically what stays in here. Um, and then next is like bottoms, and these are going to be like bummies, skirted bummies, and then also like leggings are back here. And this is another version of a bummy. Um, but then I just stack them up. Typically they're stacked in sizes, but I just got their cut in a lot of these, so I just threw them back in here. But this is how I get to them very easily, and I just cut one of every size for a template. And I just use regular paper and put it in here. All right, let me sit down because I'm not squatting too much. All right, the next one is going to be, uh, let me move this out of the way. This is going to be leotards, which I normally do the Juliet and the Hibiscus from Petite Stitchery. They're all here in stacked order from smallest to greatest and then back here are normally my harem rompers but I've got them over at my table because that's what I'm currently cutting out for orders which I'll show you guys how I do that as well all right next is going to be t-shirt dresses right here stacked and then over here are my bubble rompers that I have done in the back so this is really like dresses rompers and then last but not least is all of the bell bottom pieces. They have their own drawer because we do bell bottoms from zero to three months to girls six. We've done them up to eight. So all those are in there and it takes quite a bit of pattern pieces to do that. Um, hubby made that. <laughs> um, but it's, it's actually really cute. It's just not functioning for what it should be functioning for. It's actually like a mini wardrobe. It's really cute. Um, but get up <laughs> all right so next let's move on over to the little tote that I use for pattern pieces that um, for patterns that I don't frequently use and also here's our kitchen dining room this is one big huge pattern that's just um, push pin to the wall in our dining room <laughs> you gotta you gotta get it how you get it you know all right so then I have this like I think this is what they call a um, hopefully you guys can see it there we go. This is what they call like a flat gift wrap tote. And I just put all the big patterns in there. Like, um, we're done with tights for the season, I believe. At least I am. You can still wear tights. I'm not saying you can't. But I'm not selling tights anymore. So all my tights are stacked up in there from 
smallest to greatest. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this pregnancy, y'all. Second one's hitting different. All right. So then um, you guys are going to see my other big mess here. All right. So I've got, these are all my scrap pieces. I need to go through those and just, you know, get rid of some stuff. But these are all scraps. Uh, but here is my little transition table because I cut right here on the counter, which is typically where I do the videos from. But here are the two little side tables, and I just stack the patterns that I'm currently cutting for orders. Because I like to do like a cut day, I cut all the orders, and then I do sew days. So today was a cut day, and these are harem rompers. These are all my hibiscus tops and leotards. Underneath the harem rompers right here are the beanies. And then right here under Clarabelle, she's gorgeous, featuring our romper that we did. And then um, this is actually supposed to go over here. But then these are actually the um, peplum tops, the Simple Isla from Simple Life Pattern, and then the Napa pants under here because I like to combine those two. So secret tip if you're watching this, that's how I get a sleeved romper. I combine the bodice of the Simple Life Pattern, the Baby Isla, or the Girls Isla with the Napa pants. That's how I get that, but see these are those and the skirts are under here too. Once I get done with these, they'll go back over there to the tote where they belong. To That's not a tote, that's a rolling cart. But yeah, I do this because it's easy for me to just work right here on the table and then come right here and just keep these all stacked up in the right size. So, I got the TV going. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. It's like my favorite sewing show. I don't know. I've watched it a lot. I don't know if you guys have heard the, the saying that's like people who tend to get stressed out tend to watch the same thing over and over again because it helps them feel safe and like not anxious. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> I rewatch Grey's Anatomy all the time because it doesn't make me anxious because I know what's going to happen, you know? So, who knows? Maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. But it's true for me. I watch it all the time. And I definitely... It's a de-stressing show, even though it's full of drama. One more tip that I got here. This looks crazy right now, but this is a little rolling cart from Ikea. Um, I'm trying to get rid of some fabric, but this is what I've got. Lord Jesus. Here is the rolling cart. And um, it goes to the fabric closet, which is back here. I'll let you guys see our fabric closet. That'll be a treat. <laughs> and then one day I'll explain. Oh, Lord. Um, you see Grey's Anatomy in there. All right. This is the office. Office. Here's our office. All right. And then here is our fabric closet. And it's from the ground all the way to the top. Both sides. Fabric closet. Tiny mannequin that scares me all the time. <laughs> No, but for real though. All right, so yeah, this is all the fabric in our fabric closet. This is where it goes when we're not using it. Um, and we just use the four, there are four black shelves from Home Depot and it's what's worked for us. We just recently had to get the two more. We just had two and then we redid them and made four. So now the closet has gotten a little bit smaller, but it's so awesome to see all of the beautiful fabric. But we will be um, purging some of our fabric soon. I think that's about it. I hope I hope we helped you. Um, I hope I was able to help give some insight into how we, um, let me get back in. <laughs> Everybody's taking a nap right now, except for me. <laughs> I'm up. But um, I hope I gave you guys some insight. Crazy Anatomy, Dr. Bailey, boop, boop. Okay, sorry. Hope I gave you guys some insight as to how I organize my patterns and how I keep my sanity in working from my dining room, kitchen, and how I store my patterns because a lot of people are going to projector, which um, would be cool. I don't see anything against that, but um, it might not be the best aesthetic to um, attach to my dining room ceiling <laughs> above my uh counter kitchen counter um i don't think my husband would go for that um 
So until we get a shop, I'm just gonna keep printing patterns. And I do use the layers feature, of course. So if you haven't done that, check out your patterns. Majority of them have the pattern layers feature. And that's in Adobe. You'd see that in the instructions if it's a layer pattern. The only pattern that I've come across that I personally own that has not been layered is the bummies and anything from Big Noggin Baby. Um, I haven't gotten any of their newer patterns, so I'm not completely sure if they still are like that, but I do know that the bummies that I bought from them did not have that. So I believe that is it. We will be coming out with the doll, the mini cane doll turban next. So be on the lookout for that, and we'll do a short tutorial on how to make that really fast um, for all your cute little dolls. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this different kind of Teach It Tuesday slash Work It Wednesday video, and um, thank you guys so much for the support. It's a new year, and it's amazing. I think this is the first video we've done in 2021, so happy new year, guys. Um, hopefully it's not too crazy for everybody. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, and you know hope it's not too stressful for everyone and I hope that sewing has been an outlet for most of you to just sew and I hope I help make it a little bit less stressful for you by showing you how I do it um, I know that helped me when I was first started for starting um, it was just a lot less information that people were willing to give when I started and so I, I like to be able to share that to hopefully help ease some of the worries that I had when I first started. So keep on sewing, keep on asking questions, keep on posting what you'd like to see. I love these type of videos. Um, there are plenty of tutorials we can always do, but these are the type of videos that I really like to do because it really helps, like it really lets me show you guys what I do and how I do it. Um, so if you guys wanna see more videos like this, just make sure you like, comment, and let me know what you guys think. So. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next week. Bye.